In this video, uh, a car moves between two sets of traffic lights, stopping at both. Its speed v meters per second at time t seconds is modelled by v equals 1 t times 60 minus t, where t, the time, is going between 0 and 60. Find the times at which the car is stationary and the distance between the two sets of traffic lights. OK, so this is our v. OK, and the uh, car will be stationary when V is 0. So we will to solve the equation, 0 is equal to 1 30th. 1 30th, try that again, T, 60 minus T. OK, so if you want to, you can multiply both sides by the 30. OK, and it's all neatly factorised for us, so that will be when T is 0 and when T is 60. OK, so that is when the car is stationary. Now, visually, what is happening here? Well, we can sketch out a velocity time graph, OK, because this is a parabola um, with a negative t squared, and so it's looking like this, OK, uh, going from 0 to 60, because that is when the velocity is 0. And... If I'm looking to find the distance between the two sets of uh, traffic lights, then we know that the area between the curve and the x-axis, or the time axis in this case, will represent that displacement. Okay, So because the, um, uh, the area is not going below uh, the uh, t-axis, okay, when we're looking at velocity, this will be the same as the distance. So we can integrate... Uh, the, we can integrate the velocity between the 0 and 60 and evaluate that integral and that will give us the distance. So we want to evaluate uh, between 0 and 60 the integral of 1 30th t 60 minus t dt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the 1 30th outside of the integral and I'm going to expand the bracket out to get 60t minus t squared. So we've got the 1 30th, and then integrating, adding 1 to the power, dividing by the new power, we'll get 30t squared, take away 1 third t cubed between 0 and 60. And then I want to evaluate this. So I want to substitute 60 into this. So we've got 30 times 60 squared, take away one third of 60 times uh, 60 to the power of 3. So that gets us 36,000. Substituting 0, I get 0. So divide that by 30, and I get 1,200, and that's meters. Okay, that is the distance that is travelled by the car between the two sets of traffic lights.